Hey guys, Cheesy Bros Toys here with another great toy review. This time, we're going to take a look at the 2015 Team Hot Wheels Happy Meal Toys. First of all, if you haven't seen the Hot Wheels movie Team Hot Wheels, The Origin of Awesome, you should watch it. It is a great movie and it plays about once a week in our house because our son loves it. And uh, hopefully it will become an actual series on Cartoon Network. That would be great. And uh, But even if you haven't seen the movie, you can certainly appreciate these awesome pullback Hot Wheels racers. So let's take a look at them and uh, open them up. We've got all six of them here. And the first one is... Gage is the green car, and, but his name is officially Twin Mill. And it's number one. He's one of the... He's an actual Hot Wheel car that you can get. Pretty popular. Been done a bunch of times. But he's pretty cool. So this is him in the package. We'll open him up in a minute. And number two is Bone Shaker. And he is another cool car. Also been done quite a few times by Hot Wheels. And number three in the package here is Quick and Sick. And... Again, really cool. Also been done before. Now this is Rev Rod, number four. Again in the package, pretty cool. Number five is the Baja truck. Really cool. And last of all, this guy, they must have just wanted six. He is called Velocita. Never heard of him. He's not in the movie, but he is a cool, a really cool Corvette type of a uh, car. So let me open these up and we'll take a look at them individually. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a look at them both individually. They all come with this uh, unlock the game code. You're supposed to be able to, to scan them into an actual app and race them online. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but that certainly would be cool. And so here he is, close up right out of the package. Very cool uh, bottom, and that's a cool one. Put him there and go to number two. Again, they all come with the uh, with the card. So this is Bone Shaker, another really cool one. He's got the flames on top, and uh, the skull and crossbones that see through on the front, and just really cool really cool car number three is quick and sick pretty basic but it's a nice sports car he's got a uh, you can't see through the roof but got some cool decals very cool car and uh, one of my favorites number four is rev rod Pretty basic. Uh, this is a really cool car in the movie. It's the one that actually makes all the orange track all over a town. Very cool car. We'll take a look at all these close up before the video's over so you can really take a good look at them. I'm just basically unboxing them for you so you can see what they look like right out of the package. Because that's part of the fun. And nice, nice stripes on the front hood there. Very cool one and black bottom and last of all I haven't even actually looked at this one or opened this one yet this is Velocita oh, that's a cool car looks kinda like a Corvette or some kinda concept Corvette and uh, wow that's actually definitely really cool really cool got the Hot Wheels logo on there very nice so there's all six right out of the package and um, Let's take a look at them individually here, and I'll show you how they work as pullbacks. Okay, so first of all, I don't know if you guys buy a lot of pullback racers out there, but we do normally at the grocery store, and they're, they're oversized die-cast ones, and they don't have much power, and they're, they're just not very good as a, as a, a pullback racer. They're great for die-cast, but these are are pretty powerful for a little a little pullback we actually sat and on the kitchen floor and they were accurate and and um 
powerful enough that we basically you're playing catch with cars on the floor. I mean, you could uh, pull them up and and uh, race them to each other, and even sometimes turn them around, and they would keep going on one spin. So that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, so I'll show you as far as they've got a lot of power here, and um, a lot of power. And that's uh, the green one. I'll show you the red one. This one again, this is one I just got basically turning around. This is one pull. Uh, you just don't normally get that from a pullback racer. So I'm impressed with the quality for, I mean, a Happy Meal toy. That's that's uh, pretty impressive. So another reason to definitely buy them out there. And I uh, just wanted to show you how they work. They definitely are solid pullbacks here. And we'll get to take a look at them individually here. So here is number one. This is Gage's car, the Twin Mill 3, and very cool car. And there's the side view of it. We can take it over to the, to the side here, and also very cool. And uh, very cool car. It's you can see the front there. It's got racing stripes and just an all-out cool car fast like I said these are pretty quality for pullback racers let's take a look at number two this is number two and this is called bone shaker this is Rhett's car the surfer dude and uh, another really cool car you got the four tailpipes on each side. You got the Team Hot Wheels logo and the flames. And if we turn around front here, you can see the uh, skull and crossbones, even if it is see-through. This is one one of my favorites, definitely, if not my favorite. And uh, looks nice. Let's take a look at number three. And this one is number three. This is Brandon's car, the Quick and Sick is the official name for it. It's your pretty basic sports car, uh, blue, racing stripes, got the Hot Wheels logo, Team Hot Wheels on the uh, on the top of the roof. And if you square it up here, that's a nice view of it. Just your basic, almost like a, almost like a racing car. It is a racing car. Nice car. Let's see if we can take a look at the back. Too easily. Not bad, you got your spoiler and everything there. It's a good looking car. Pretty simple compared to a lot of them, but I like it just the same. Let's take a look at number four. Number four is Revrod. This is Larry's car or Jerry's in the end of the movie. It is the cloud engine powered car that's powered on pure imagination. Anyhow, it's got purple accents. It's got your Team Hot Wheels logo, I think, somewhere on the front there, I see. And I can see why this was the hardest one for us to find. It's, it's probably one of the best. And uh, we finally had to reach out to our Facebook friends and family to, to pick it up because uh, we couldn't find it in any McDonald's. I don't know if it was one of the first ones or what, but a little bit hard to find. Let's to the side there and pull it over and you can see the orange cloud engine that uh, shoots out orange track all over the city turning it into a Hot Wheels city it's a cool car there's a cool view and of course that's that's nice right there yeah this is probably one of my favorites too can't beat that good looking car but as Larry would say let's quit this jibba jabba and look at number this is number five, the Baja truck, um, or Wyatt's jump truck, as it's called in the uh, in the movie. Another really cool one, probably the biggest one. And you got your red racing stripes on both sides, your Hot Wheels logo on the corner there. It's pretty simple. I mean, there's nothing really to look at at the back. The front's cool. That's a cool view, and looks nice from the front. Uh, but it works real well, like I said again, and uh, they did a good job on these. Let's take a look at the last one. 
And last of all, we have number six in the series, or Velocita. Looks kind of like a concept Corvette. Got a lot of nice uh, stripes and grooves on there. This is all grooved along the edge there. It's a really nice car. Even if it doesn't have anything to do with the movie. Maybe they'll introduce it in a uh, cartoon series. Keep our fingers crossed. But that's the last one and it's got green accents. Again, it's pretty close to a Corvette to me. I could be wrong. But uh, that's definitely one of my favorites too. Can't beat the side view there and pretty basic from the pretty basic from the uh, back end. But front view definitely looks really nice. Good looking car. Like I said, these are all pretty good quality as far as the the pullback quality of them. You can't go wrong with these. I like all these cars. I'll give you a few close-up looks of the Hot Wheels pullback racers compared to the the real cars, the uh, die-cast Hot Wheels. This is Rev Rod. Um, as you as you can see, the Hot Wheels is significantly smaller, uh, but they're meant to be that way. And uh, both are really cool cars. Just different. You can see it's got a deeper, a little bit deeper purple to it. And of course a see-through, see-through canopy. Nice car. Throw it back around them. Both have the cloud engine. Not bad at all. Let's take a look at a couple other ones. Here's a close-up of Quick and Sick, the actual Hot Wheels car. And uh, probably the most stark difference with this one because it's got the see-through roof there which is really a nice feature on the car so that one's actually probably nicer than the, uh, than the Hot Wheels but they're both nice definitely Let's take nice. a look at Twin Mill Gage's car here you can see the, the actual Hot Wheels car again a lot smaller than than its pullback counterpart, but equally cool, deeper color, and both are really cool cars. Twin Mill is an old, an old model. It's been used a lot of times for different things, but you can't go wrong with it. Nice close-ups. Good-looking car. So there you have it. All six 2015 Team Hot Wheels Happy Meal toys. We love them in our house, and if you want them, definitely get them. Get out to McDonald's and get them in the next couple weeks. Otherwise, they're just going to be gone. Unless you want to buy them on, on eBay or something, which probably, probably they'll be available there for a long time. But they're good quality, and if you like Team Hot Wheels, you definitely want to pick them up. And that's it for us, so hope you enjoyed our toy review. And if you did, definitely subscribe so you can see all of our future toy reviews for Legos and all kinds of other toys and our other silly videos and definitely subscribe and be cheesy